NBA's regular season is all about consistency, depth, and navigating the ups and downs of an 82-game grind. As we head into the 2025 season, certain teams have set themselves apart as potential juggernauts. Whether through big offseason moves, elite returning players, or impressive depth, these 10 squads are primed to dominate the regular season. From reigning champions to teams hungry for redemption, let's dive into the top teams likely to control the league this year. 1. Boston Celtics. After winning the 2024 NBA Championship, the Boston Celtics enter the 2025 season as the team to beat. Led by the duo of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, the Celtics bolstered their roster even further last season by acquiring Drew Holiday, adding an elite defender and playmaker to their backcourt who proved vital to their title run. Their depth is outstanding, with players like Derek White, Al Horford, and the newly re-signed Kristaps Porzingis all ready to contribute at a high level. The Celtics' defense, already among the best in the league, looks even scarier after a brilliant 2024 season. Offensively, Tatum and Brown continue to grow as dynamic scorers, while Porzingis' ability to stretch the floor and protect the rim gives the Celtics a versatile edge. With the confidence of being reigning champions in a well-rounded, deep roster, the Celtics are expected to dominate the regular season and position themselves for another deep playoff run. Their chemistry, balance of offense and defense, and championship pedigree make them a team that should sit atop the standings throughout the year. Expect the Celtics to use this regular season as a tune-up for another potential title push. 2. New York Knicks. The New York Knicks are heading into the 2025 season with one of the most exciting rosters in the Eastern Conference. A major offseason move saw the Knicks trade for Mikel Bridges, adding a two-way star to an already talented lineup. Bridges, one of the best perimeter defenders in the league, will pair perfectly alongside Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle to form a formidable trio. Brunson, coming off a career-best season where he averaged 28.7 points and 6.7 assists, has solidified himself as one of the league's elite point guards. Adding Bridges to the mix brings much-needed wing defense and additional scoring. Julius Randle will come back healthy to be a consistent force in the paint, and with OG Ananobi returning on a five-year, $212 million deal, the Knicks now boast one of the best defensive units in the league. This new-look Knicks squad also features excellent depth. Players like Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, and Mitchell Robinson will play key roles throughout the regular season. Hart and DiVincenzo provide shooting and hustle, while Robinson remains a top-shot blocker and rim protector. With Tom Thibodeau's defense-first mentality, the Knicks are set to be one of the toughest teams to play against. Bridges' ability to lock down opposing stars, combined with Brunson's leadership and scoring, makes the Knicks a serious threat in the East. Their depth, defensive versatility, and newly formed Big Three should propel them to the top of the standings, making them one of the teams to watch. 3. Oklahoma City Thunder the Oklahoma City Thunder are primed for a dominant regular season after an outstanding offseason in a breakout year in 2024. Last season, they finished with a 57-25 record, claiming the top seed in the Western Conference, and won their first playoff series since 2016. With a young, talented roster led by Shai Gilgis Alexander, who emerged as an MVP candidate, the Thunder are in an excellent position to continue their upward trajectory. Shai's leadership and two-way play, combined with rising stars like Chet Holmgren, who is set to have a full season after his great rookie campaign, and Jalen Williams, give Oklahoma City a balanced attack. Holmgren's ability to stretch the floor as a seven-footer, along with his defensive presence, adds versatility that will make the Thunder one of the most dangerous teams in the league. The Thunder made some key offseason moves, trading Josh Giddy for defensive standout Alex Caruso and signing Isaiah Hardenstein to provide needed veteran depth. Caruso brings elite defense and playoff experience, while Hardenstein adds rebounding and toughness in the frontcourt. These additions address some of the team's weaknesses from last season, particularly their need for more defensive grit and veteran leadership. With a deep roster that includes young talents like re-signed Isaiah Joe and Aaron Wiggins, and a defense that ranked among the top in the league, the Thunder are set to dominate the regular season. Their combination of youth, skill, and strategic veteran additions makes them a top contender in the West, with many expecting them to make a deep playoff run. 4. Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets remain one of the top teams heading into the new NBA season, led by Nikola Jokic, arguably the best player in the league. 
After a strong 56-26 season, the Nuggets are set to run it back with much of their core intact. Their star-studded lineup, featuring Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and Christian Braun, gives them one of the most balanced starting fives in the league. However, they did lose Kentavious Caldwell Pope to free agency, which created a gap in their perimeter defense. To address that, the Nuggets made some offseason moves, including signing Dario Sarek and bringing in veteran Russell Westbrook. Sarek is expected to provide much-needed shooting in depth at the forward position, while Westbrook offers additional playmaking off the bench. Denver is banking on Christian Braun stepping into a larger role, especially after his strong playoff performance in 2024. After losing some key players, the Nuggets' ability to develop young talent and maintain depth sets them up well for another dominant regular season. With Jokic continuing to anchor the offense, and the rest of the core healthy, Denver is poised to be a major contender in the Western Conference yet again. Their challenge will be navigating the grueling 82-game season while keeping their stars fresh for another deep playoff run. 5. Minnesota Timberwolves the Minnesota Timberwolves are coming off one of their best seasons in franchise history, finishing the 2023-24 season with a 56-26 record and making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Anthony Edwards had a breakout season, establishing himself as one of the NBA's brightest young stars, while the frontcourt duo of Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert showed significant improvement in their chemistry. Gobert, in particular, looked more comfortable, winning his fourth Defensive Player of the Year award, and anchoring the NBA's top-ranked defense. Heading into the 2025 season, the Timberwolves have kept their core intact, choosing to bet on the continued development of Edwards, Towns, and Gobert. While there were off-season rumors about the team potentially trading Towns to manage their bloated payroll, Minnesota opted to stick with its star trio. With the salary cap rising and the team pushing over the second tax apron, the Wolves had limited options for making significant offseason moves, but they did manage to bring in some solid pieces. One key offseason addition was Joe Ingles, who provides a veteran presence, shooting, and secondary playmaking off the bench. His reunion with former Utah Jazz teammates Gobert and Mike Conley should help keep the team's offensive flow steady when the starters are off the court. The Wolves also added lottery pick Rob Dillingham, a young, athletic guard who can provide a scoring punch off the bench, though he'll need time to develop. With Edwards leading the charge and the core group of Towns, Gobert, and Jaden McDaniels continuing to grow, the Timberwolves are poised to be a top contender in the Western Conference. Their defensive identity, combined with Edwards' continued rise to superstardom, will make them a force in the regular season, as they aim to build on last season's success and go even deeper in the playoffs. 6. Philadelphia 76ers. The Philadelphia 76ers had a massive offseason in 2024, highlighted by the signing of Paul George to a four-year, $212 million contract. George's arrival adds a much-needed scoring and defensive punch alongside Joel Embiid and rising star Tyrese Maxey. After another disappointing playoff exit last season, where the Sixers once again fell short in the first round, this move signaled the franchise's all-in approach to building a championship contender. Joel Embiid, fresh off winning the MVP award in 2023, remains the centerpiece of the team, and the Sixers doubled down on his future by signing him to a massive three-year, $193 million extension, locking him in until 2028. Embiid's commitment to Philadelphia was clear, as he emphasized that this is where he wants to finish his career. With his dominance on both ends of the floor, Embiid will once again be a force to reckon with. Philadelphia didn't stop with George. They also brought in veteran depth by signing players like Eric Gordon, Caleb Martin, and Andre Drummond to bolster their bench and add playoff experience. These moves, combined with Maxi's continued growth and George's scoring ability, position the Sixers to be one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. However, with high expectations come challenges. Health will be a major factor, especially with George, who has had injury concerns in the past. If they can keep their core healthy, the Sixers have the potential to make a deep run and finally break through in the playoffs. With Embiid locked in in an upgraded roster, Philadelphia is primed to dominate the regular season. 7. Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks are looking to bounce back from their disappointing early playoff exit last season. After a first-round defeat in 2024, the Bucks retooled their roster for the upcoming season, making some solid, but under-the-radar moves. They added Gary Trent Jr., 
Torian Prince, and Delon Wright on minimum contracts to strengthen their depth. Trent, in particular, should add some scoring and defense to the backcourt, filling the void left by the departures of Jay Crowder and Malik Beasley. One of the major storylines is Damian Lillard, now entering his second year with the Bucks after a blockbuster trade in 2023. Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo will aim to establish even stronger chemistry after getting a full offseason together. Last year, Lillard averaged 24.3 points and 7.0 assists, and now, with a better understanding of how to play alongside Giannis, the Bucks hope to be a dominant force in the East. While their core remains strong with Chris Middleton and Brooke Lopez still in the mix, agent injuries are becoming concerns. Middleton, who struggled with injuries last season, will need to stay healthy to provide the scoring and playmaking the Bucks rely on. Similarly, Lopez continues to be a defensive anchor, but at 36 years old, questions remain about how long he can maintain his elite level of play. Despite being limited financially due to their luxury tax situation, Milwaukee has managed to add valuable contributors while banking on continuity and the leadership of new head coach. Doc Rivers. With Lillard and Giannis leading the charge, the Bucks are still one of the top contenders in the Eastern Conference, aiming to return to championship form. 8. Dallas Mavericks. The Dallas Mavericks enter the 2025 season fresh off an NBA Finals appearance and armed with significant offseason upgrades. Their biggest move was acquiring Klay Thompson, a massive boost for their already potent offense. Thompson's shooting and championship pedigree bring a new level of firepower alongside Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving, forming one of the best trios in the league. Thompson's ability to stretch the floor will open up lanes for Doncic and Irving to work their magic, giving Dallas even more scoring options. Dallas also addressed some key defense needs by signing Najee Marshall, known for his toughness and versatility, and trading for Quentin Grimes. Marshall brings excellent defensive skills and a reliable three-point shot, while Grimes is a strong defender with the ability to hit big threes, adding depth to the Mavericks bench. Both players should play critical roles in improving the team's defensive consistency, something they struggled with during last year's playoff run. Additionally, Spencer Dinwiddie returns to Dallas after a brief stint with the Lakers. Dinwiddie, a fan favorite during his previous tenure with the Mavericks, provides extra ball handling and scoring off the bench, ensuring that Dallas can maintain offensive pressure even when Doncic or Irving sit. The Mavericks now have arguably the deepest roster of the Luka era, giving them a legitimate shot at repeating as Western Conference champions. With a well-balanced mix of offense, defense, and veteran leadership, the Mavericks are set to be one of the top teams in the West, aiming to return to the finals and potentially win it all this time around. 9. Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cleveland Cavaliers come to the 2025 season with their core intact, banking on further development from their stars. After another playoff run in 2024, led by Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, Jarrett Allen, and Evan Mobley, the Cavaliers chose to retain their key players with long-term extensions. Mitchell signed a three-year, $150 million deal, and Mobley secured a five-year max extension worth $224 million. New head coach Kenny Atkinson has been brought in to take this core to the next level, aiming to build on last season's momentum. While their offseason was relatively quiet in terms of new acquisitions, they brought back Tristan Thompson for veteran depth and re-signed Isaac Okoro, ensuring roster stability. With their strong foundation in place, the Cavaliers are poised to be one of the top teams in the East, with Mitchell emerging as a potential MVP candidate and Mobley looking to have a breakout year. If their core continues to develop and their chemistry improves under Atkinson, the Cavs could make serious noise in the regular season and beyond. 10. Orlando Magic. The Orlando Magic are on the rise heading into the 2025 season, continuing to build around their young stars Paolo Banchero and Franz Wagner. After finishing as a top-five team in the East last season, Orlando addressed one of their biggest needs, three-point shooting, by signing Kentavious Caldwell-Pope to a three-year, $66 million deal. Caldwell-Pope's experience, shooting over 40% from three in recent years, and defense will provide a big boost to a team that struggled from deep. In addition to the shooting upgrade, the Magic re-signed key rotation players like Mo Wagner, Goga Baitadze, and Gary Harris, while also locking in Franz Wagner with a five-year, max extension starting in 2025. Orlando also added rookie Tristan Da Silva, a sharp shooting forward from Colorado, who brings additional depth and spacing. Though they didn't make a huge splash in free agency, 
the Magic's young core continues to grow, with Benchero leading the charge after an impressive season where he averaged 22.6 points and 6.9 rebounds. Under head coach Jamal Mosley, this team is poised to take another step forward and challenge for a higher seed in the East. Leaning on a mix of young talent and strategic veteran additions, with a balance of youth, shooting, and defense, Orlando is expected to build on their momentum from last season, making them a team to watch in the Eastern Conference. Let's see who are others' team ups and down.